I need 19. I'm gonna try and explain this for YouTube. We're, we're, we're testing this versus red scotch brite. I did a little test panel. I'm gonna re sand this back down. But you can still see whenever you spray the VHT paint, you can still kind of see the lines and scratches in the transmission from that. So now we're gonna try the red scotch brite and hopefully we won't have that. I think it'll look better. We played Search and Destroy all night and never won a single fucking game. I do like that. When we played Call of Duty? I still gotta win those fucking Search games. I can save that. Now see you play with us on Call of Duty now. I want to see. I want to I do do. Jordan. Jordan. The only thing. Okay, you know what's on mine now? Is that. Okay, don't take this the wrong way, but the way Jordan talks about how he plays, the only way. Okay, the only way he beats people is by running around like a little bitch. Sponsored by you. engine enamel this was what color was this it was universal aluminum they had cast aluminum and universal aluminum uh, I wasn't sure which one to get so I ended up just going with the universal aluminum so it might be a little bit shinier than the other cast aluminum or more white color I don't know more bright I can't really tell it also I have a lot of lights in here too like I have a lot of lights so once this is actually like in the car uh, I don't think it's gonna look this bright of a color especially if I put you know black hardware on it and shit like that so it came out all right I'm kind of curious as to what the uh, the cast aluminum would look like because the the lids the lids that were on the Universal and the cast were both identically the same. Like they were completely the same color lid. I sat there for like five minutes trying to figure out what the difference was and I couldn't find anything. So, And they had more of these, so I just went ahead and got these. Uh, they were almost out of the cast aluminum. Uh, I masked everything off, put some of this stuff back because I unbolted this and I unbolted that. She's looking pretty good. I think she's gonna look really sweet once it's back in the car. It's all better. Up next, we're gonna be painting this bitch. As you can tell, that's a little dirty. So, that's gonna be next. All right, so 
I missed my package for the motor mounts and the traction bar because I had to sign for it. Oh, but they should be coming in tomorrow. So then, right now I'm going to start removing all the uh, spot welds um, and stuff like that. I'm going to start drilling these out of stuff that we're not going to use. Uh, this mount we are not going to be using. I'm going to be like removing stuff like this, that, that, that. You know, like stuff like these, little tabs and shit. Basically, just gonna be drilling all the, those out. And what I'm using, I'm using these drill bits from uh, Harbor Freight. This one, the, you can you can spin these around. You can use it and then flip it around uh, when it gets old. As you can see, I uh, I knocked a tooth off that one right there. So I flipped it around. I was using this on the actual inside of the car. Uh, but now I'm going to start doing it on the engine bay and these aren't very reliable so whenever anytime you're using those uh, I would say get you some extra I went to Harbor Freight today picked up two more they're not super expensive but the, the thing is with these is you got to be really careful uh, not to drill all the way through I don't know if I'm going to have this problem with this thick of metal but stuff like the firewall where it's really thin um, you can very easily drill straight through and then you'll have a hole uh, that's there. I accidentally did that on the inside of the car. Um, uh, I don't have enough light back here, but I accidentally did that on the inside of the car. There was some bracket back there. And I ended up drilling a hole right here. So I kind of want to fill that. I might weld that shut. But yeah, learn from your mistakes. But there was a bunch of, you know, brackets, like, for the spare tire and um, stuff like that. Just kind of, like, sitting around. I went ahead and, uh, went ahead and got one of those. I actually did that a while back. So this is what I'm going to talk about, about being careful not to drill all the way through. Because you see how it drills. I, uh, whacked it with a center punch right there. And, um, you have to cut through this first layer of metal, but not into the second one. And it's going to leave you with is this little circle right there. Uh, it's kind of hard, especially with these angles. It's just kind of hard to really just run it straight. Because I'm kind of bumping up against this. See, I can't tell how far through I am. Whoops, and we just flipped a breaker. Damn it. <laughs> That happens all the time. Okay. I got the, uh, that heater, that son of a bitch, taking up all my, uh, electricity. Got that plugged inside. I totally forgot about that. That happens literally every day that it's cold outside and I have both heaters running. Um. You can see it wiggle. Cold, y'all. It's another day working on the CRX. The motor mounts came in today. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to be welding this in right now, but I'll show y'all where this has to go. I believe the bolt holes there and there are going to go in there and there let me get this bolt let me get those bolts out just like that right yes no maybe there is a problem that see if I can get some that is not mine up down at the bottom. Might have to whack it. I'm not sure. 
Let me see if I can get the bottom one in first. Only slightly concerning. Shit. Okay, so I decided to leave this for now. I started working on uh, this mount. Oh, this mount's actually like two pieces. This uh, metal piece that runs across here, that way you just weld this piece onto your uh, subframe. And this side bolts on, so it allows you to take this on and off, and you're just gonna have this piece welded instead of having the entire thing welded in case you ever need to replace this or anything. But if you look, this is supposed to, this bracket right here, if you look at it, it's not bent at a straight 90 degree angle. It's bent in like a obtuse angle. I'm supposed to be like 90. And so it's making, making this not sit flush. You can see how this bolt's flush. And this bolt sits a little bit higher. And I could probably tighten that down as is. But you can kind of, just by looking at it, you can kind of tell that this mount is just pointed that way. Just a hair because of that. And you don't really, and you can really kind of, you only really, really, really notice it when you look down here. You can see the gap. When it's supposed to sit flush. I like stick my finger in there. At least I believe it's supposed to sit flush. Well, flusher than that because it's like, you're supposed to weld it right here. And you can, I can shove my finger up and underneath here. You know what I mean? So, I, th I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put this in a vise and just whack it with a hammer and knock it a straight 90 degrees. That way this will actually, this whole thing will actually sit flat. Um, and then I also went ahead and started messing with Transmission uh, mount bracket. This is gonna sit like this. I had it earlier. It's gonna sit like that. But, the, but the, as you can see, the studs. See how they're like wider right there and right there. When you set them up against it flat, I'm gonna have to uh, drill these out make them wider so that they'll actually sit flush. You can see how it's supposed to sit, but it's not quite reaching. And initially I thought it was because these weren't tightened down all the way, but I was looking at some other people's uh, videos and stuff like that. And uh, it looks like, see a little ridge right there? I believe it's the exact same right here. So everybody else is uh, online. They all seem to kind of have this poking out as well. So I'm going to have to go in with a drill and drill those out just a little bit. And then uh, it comes with this bolt that you run in right there. So far, I've had problems with every single mount. <laughs> nothing, nothing like major, though. I'm sure that mount's going to be fine. I'm sure that, that one's going to be fine. And I'm sure that one's going to be fine. It's just going to take a little bit more tinkering and messing with it to get everything to kind of fit and work. Uh, but what do you expect? Um, showing a K-Series and a 1988 CRX. So, uh, let's go ahead and get the, uh, I'm going to go upstairs and grab the rest of the mounts. Just because I've had bad luck with that one, that one, and this one. I'm going to grab the rest of the mounts and just make sure the rest of those are doing alright as well. <laughs> Not a huge problem, but I do notice that the grips for this do have paint on the inside of them, and it makes threading these extremely difficult. I did pre thread two of these, and the entire time that I was threading them, it felt like I was stripping them, even though I wasn't. Look inside the threads, the threads are all still good. It just, it felt like I was stripping them, so you should probably run these through uh, prior to uh, actually having it in the car and trying to run the mount in with it, just so that you don't strip these. Okay, so this is, I'm hand threading it, 
hand threads till about there and it stops it's doing the exact same thing all the rest of them did wish I had impact tools right now but all my shits at work I'm doing this in my garage <clears throat> Now it's, now it's getting easier. The further you go, the easier it gets. Sorry if my finger moved over the camera there for a second. Oh, it just got hard. God damn it, I feel like I'm stripping this shit. <laughs> get to whack it with a hammer there she is all folded up down there now I'm gonna go in with this uh, Dremel and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grind at it like this and get the spot welds out like that I think that's the only way I'm really gonna be able to go about doing it at least here at home because the, uh, the air hammer is definitely not strong enough You can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just like digging it out. still see some of the corrosion I'm not sure if I should keep on grinding or what might hit it with some like rust special like rust treatment and stuff went ahead and uh, grinded down some of the stuff that was, that was uh, sticking out on the firewall she's looking good 